All right, we're going to do a uh, course schedule on make code. So they give us two things. They give us a number of courses and they give us some prereqs, which these are just the edges in a graph. And then once we return true, if we can take all the courses. So we wouldn't, the only time we wouldn't be able to take all the courses is if there's a cycle in our graph. So for example, if two classes are prereqs of each other, then it's impossible to take all the courses because we'll never be able to satisfy the prereq to take the other course and vice versa. So um, we're going to use cons algorithm. So cons algorithm is essentially two steps. We process all the nodes uh that have no incoming edges and step two would be delete those nodes outgoing edges and we just repeat these two steps over and over and over again where we process all the nodes and incoming edges delete the no then delete those nodes outgoing edges and then repeat it again and again and again and uh eventually once if we've once we've gone through all the courses if we're able to get uh, go through all the courses doing this then that means that we don't have a cycle in our graph, so we'd return true. But if at any point we still have nodes to process, if there's still nodes left in our graph, but um, at all of them have at least one incoming edge, then we have a problem. That means there's a cycle in our graph. So let's. I'm going to leave this here just so in case, I don't know, why not? Um, but let's get started with the algorithm. So first, we're going to create an adjacency list. And the reason is because uh, Khan's algorithm is essentially a breadth first search. And actually, let's call this adjacent to this. Cons algorithm is essentially a breadth first search, and we need to be able to loop through all our neighbors. So that's why I'm creating this. Um, so new hash map. Boom. OK. Now we need to keep track of, the, of our number. We need to keep track of the number of incoming edges. So int array, int degree, equals new int. OK. And by just really quick i just want to go over this constraint um so num courses or if you look at what um these prereqs the nodes themselves in the prereqs they range from uh from zero to num courses minus one here uh so ai so ai and bi these would just be um like these are like nodes or edges in this prereqs uh that in the prereqs uh array that they give us OK, I just wanted to make that really clear because we're going to make use of that. Um, so we have an adjacency list. We have our end degree. And we need to actually populate this adjacency list. So we're going to go through our prereqs. Let's just call this edge for every edge and prerequisites. Uh, we're going to we're going to use this computative absent method because what we want to do is we, so we need to create a list, right? So if we don't, if we haven't seen this key, then we want to create an array list. And if we have seen this key before, so if we have seen this node before, what will happen is we're going to return this array list. We're going to return the list that we created in a previous iteration of the loop, and we're just going to add to it. Cool. So essentially, we're either, if we haven't seen this key before, we're going to create this array list. It'll insert it, and then it'll return it. And then we can add to it, or it'll just return the one that we created before, if it, if this key did exist before. That's why it's called compute if absent. Okay. Um, and now we want to increment the number of incoming nodes, or in number of incoming edges to uh, this node. So boom. So this node here, edge one, uh, has at least one incoming edge, right? Because we're incrementing it here. Okay. Now we've created the adjacency list. Now we, we're doing a breadth first search. We create a queue and to array the queue. I can't spell. Doing and now we need to go through all of our edges that have, or sorry, we need to go through all of our nodes or all of our courses that have no incoming edges, and then add those to our queue. And then we'll start the breadth first search. So for every node. In in degree dot length plus plus i. If uh, in degree at i equals zero, which means that it has no incoming edges, then we're gonna put those in our queue. So we'll just add i. Cool. Okay. So now um, we can actually do the breadth search. search. So while the queue isn't empty, then we want to take this. Want to take a node out of our queue. So, oh, int uh, 
what do we want to call it? We call it course, we call it node. I'm going to call it, I'm just saying node. So this node course, same thing. So int node equals q dot pull. And we want to loop through all the neighbors. So for int uh, neighbor in, what is it? Where is it? Adjacency list. Adjacency list dot uh, get a node. Okay, so we're getting all the neighbors, we're looping through them. And now what we're going to say is, actually, I don't even think I need the brackets. So we're going to say if uh, we said, so we, what's the second step? We want to, so we want to process the nodes that have no incoming edges. So we're taking out the node with no incoming edge, and then we want to delete those nodes outgoing edges. So we're going to simulate that by uh, subtracting from in degree uh, the neighbor. So, and if this hits zero, so if after we delete that edge, or we're simulating deleting the edge, I guess, um, if that if it hits zero, that means it has no incoming edges now because we deleted the edge, we deleted all of its edges, that all of its incoming edges, then we can go ahead and add that to our queue. So let's add the neighbor. And this can give us a null pointer exception. So because what if uh, it didn't end up in, basically we need to make sure that it's in our adjacency list, um, this key, because it's possible that it like, it wasn't, um, that it's a course that exists. Like for example, let's, let's say that one course, what if there are no prereqs, right? Like there could be no prereqs, but there could be like 10 courses and just none of them have prereqs. That, that's a, a scenario. So adjacency list would actually be empty. So, um, we need to actually check. So if adjacency list dot, uh, contains key and we're just going to do node. So let me tab this over so it looks nice. Okay. So if our agency has, if our agency list has this node, go through all of its neighbors and then de uh, delete the edges into those neighbors. And if the edges equals, if those, if we've deleted all the incoming edges to the, to that neighbor, then we want to put that in our queue. Okay. And then we're just going to repeat this over and over and over again, right? Because of the while loop and what we want to say is, oh, we, let me create a variable. So this is num, let's call this num nodes or num courses. That would be fine too. So uh, if we were able to take all the nodes out of our queue, then, so I'm just going to increment num courses here. So if we were able to get through all the courses, because we we're able to uh, take them out of our queue, then which essentially means that we process all the nodes with no, no incoming edges, um, then we're good. So what we're going to say is uh, return num courses. That means we don't have a cycle. So return num courses equals, wait, oh, they called it num courses up here. Let's call this something else. Um, num, I'm just going to call it num nodes. Num nodes. Okay. So if num nodes that we, if the number of nodes that we processed with no incoming edges equals the number of courses, then that means we can take all the courses. So let's run this, make sure it works. What did, oh, I didn't give this a size. So it should be num courses. Cool. Let's submit it. All right, cool. And it runs. Um, so yeah, this is Khan's algorithm and the time complexity is O of V plus E where like V is the number of courses. So yeah, V would be the number of courses and E would be the number of edges in the graph or the number of prereqs, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any uh, questions or comments, you can comment below and you can subscribe or give it a thumbs up if you want. Cool. Bye.